Hello, and welcome to your reading. So we are five days away from Christmas, so I thought I'd jump on and do a Christmas tarot reading. So, um, yeah, we'll just see what kind of messages come out. Holiday cheer. Let's just grab a few cards. Stay in that Christmas spirit, right? Okay, so let's just, uh, I think we'll keep it really simple today and just get like three cards. Let's see. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Oh, I think a couple of them jumped out there. That's okay. All right, so, Nine of Swords, okay, and it says, I trust the present moment. Oh, okay. Let's see what else we got. Let's look at the cards first. Okay. Page of Wands, okay, it says, I am always open to good news. I like that. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we have another page coming out. There we go. And it says, I am open to opportunities for personal growth. Wow, that has next year written all over it. Okay. Oh, my God. And there's an ace, guys. I can't even. I'm inspired to follow my passion. Okay. Here's what this is really saying. Okay. Because Nine of Swords normally is like this. It can be anxiety, it can be worries, it can be stress, but I like this deck because look what it says. It says, I trust the present moment. So we're allowing the process to happen. We have good news coming in, opportunities, personal growth, and following your passion. This really works in alignment here because I feel this is all about letting go, okay? We're letting go of, yes, oh man, I didn't even mean it to go this way, but this is what's coming in, right? We're letting go of this, this year, the year uh, 2021 and we're going into a new year. And with that, it's funny because all roads lead to this, but here's the thing, whatever all this is, right? I'm trusting the process. I'm trusting the present moment. I'm allowing myself to feel, I'm allowing myself to be in present moment. I am full of gratitude and grace and joy and ecstasy and bliss. That is so amazing that the nine of swords is normally like, there's no negative or bad cards, but right. You know, um, one of those more challenging cards comes out and it came out in such a positive way saying, hey, today I choose gratitude. Today I choose present moment. Today I choose trust. Today I choose love. Today I choose joy. That is so awesome. I think that is a great reminder for us daily, but especially around this Christmas time, right? To keep our hearts open to love and to laughter and to joy and to gratitude, a lot of trust and allowing myself to feel the present moment and be in present moment, okay? This feels like a reward, okay? We've got two pages here. Um, kind of opposing energies, at least for a second, but let me say this. I'm, I'm open to good news. It's interesting. That feels like the reward because we've let go and we trust. Now good things are going to flow to you, right? Um, could be people, places, or things, but it kind of feels attached to this, but it feels because of this. It's interesting because it's kind of like because you went through the Nine of Swords, that's your reward. That's almost the final outcome. So that's amazing, right? And so good news could be coming in. You might get some good news on Christmas or just around this time in general, right? Because it says I'm always open to good news. But because we're trusting, this, there's good vibrations coming your way, okay? I just heard especially on Christmas Day. That was kind of cool because it kind of felt like it rhymed. But okay, Page of Pentacles. Interesting because it says I'm open to opportunities for personal growth. Wow, that feels, um, how do I explain that? It's almost outside of your comfort zone, but in a really good way. It feels like a challenge, but a really healthy one. It's interesting because maybe these are attached because this good news, I'm going to give you an example of what it feels like. It's actually got me interesting. It's got me intrigued, but it, again, it's not anything bad. It's actually really good, but okay. So it's almost like I get this good news, but it's like, oh, I got a job opportunity and it's in another city, state, country, I don't think that far, but like, you know, it's in another city, and you're like, whoa, well, that would call, like, have me move across the country or something, or it's that type of energy, but it's excitement, because it's bringing in personal growth, right, this new energy that will fall through with it, so it's interesting, because as much as it's telling you to be in present moment, and to laughter, and joy, and stay in that Christmas energy, you're being rewarded for this, and there's some kind of opportunity coming your way, and again, it might be some long distance travel, but it could just be that that's the um, example I was just trying to feel what I was kind of feeling inside of me because it's like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that, but I want to do it, right? Oh, I wasn't planning on, you know, switching careers, moving to a new city, whatever it is. 
but it's got you intrigued and it feels like there's a there's going to be follow through so whatever this good news is it's for your highest and best we've got personal growth here right this opportunity i definitely see a yes with this door open door that you're about to walk through and you're going to go through again it's all happening at the end of the year it's all happening in this week of christmas is what we're saying okay especially look out for the 27th i know this is the christmas message but hey all month long we're celebrating christmas right and so um, the 27th seems like that may be the day you get a knock at the door or a phone call or an email or text or whatever that is. Be on the lookout because that could be the news or at least the opportunity that's time to like move forward or something. I'm inspired to follow my passion. This is the yes. How it says I'm open to opportunities. I was like, there's an open door there and there's a yes there. It's interesting because that's here. That's when you walk through this door, right? And so, oh, um... Wow. Okay. Sorry. I guess they were saying something else. So I guess on the 29th, it's like the 27th is the yes, but the 29th, it's like, oh, now I have to go break the news. This is, I'm just giving you the energy of what I feel. Don't take this quite verbatim unless this exactly, like, take this how it relates to you. But I'm going to give you the example. Okay. 27th, make the decision. Let's just go with that example of, okay, you're moving, right? Now the 29th, I have to go tell everybody, right? And so, oh, hey, I'm moving hundreds of miles away because it felt like a challenge on the 29th but again no regrets no sorrow no whatever i just have to get everybody caught up to speed because this is all new year for you but this whole week for the next seven to ten days your christmas week is full of man i mean this is this is just it's a great week of joy and there's a lot of reward coming your way and man, even after the good news and the reward, it's it's time for you to start this beautiful new chapter. All right, I guess we got a Christmas week message going on. Let's grab one oracle. And uh, yeah, I think it's, we're just going to do a real quick short reading today. Okay, or, oh, I think we got two of them that flipped. Let me see. Wow. It says, I begin my day with love. Check that out. That is so amazing because I was like, love, joy, gratitude, grace, all that energy that I was saying. And it says, I begin my day with love. And I think we need to, for some of you, here's a little side message coming in, okay? For some of you that have some challenging families and you have to be with them right on Christmas, it's just reminding you to stay in that heart center, right? Because here's the thing. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think it's just the um, the gentle reminder that if you're in a tough either living situation or have some challenging family members or whatever it is this was coming in as a side message to remember when you wake up that day to remember to wake up and say hey i woke up today i got another chance at life another chance to do uh to be better to do better and so i'm gonna begin my day with love there was so much love around this nine of swords that came out too so that was so interesting and okay um Oh, wow. The, here's one more card that fell. Okay. It says, obsessing over the outcome of relationships uh, gets in the way instead. I let go and I allow. And that's so interesting because we were just talking about the Nine of Swords. Letting go, allowing the good news to come in, knowing that it's time for you to make decisions. It doesn't matter. And it, any type of relationship. And that relationship could actually be with the family member, right? Oh, okay. I have to see my in-laws. We just don't get along. They just push my buttons. They just know how to get under my skin. But, right, I'm not going to obsess. Like, I'm not going to give them my reaction. I'm not going to let them ruin my day. I'm not going to let them get the best of me. So whatever's going on in any kind of relationship on Christmas Day or around this Christmas week, you're going to say, hey, I'm going to let go and let go with love and I'm going to allow myself to trust and be in present moment. And so that's that beautiful message, right? All right. So we'll begin our day with love. We'll let go with love and we'll trust and allow and be in present moment. Okay. All right. I think we'll wrap up the reading right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys got anything on this video, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. This way I know you got something that resonated. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And there's a bell too. You want to hit the bell and turn on all notifications because I do daily videos. And I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, my loves. Go enjoy the next five days. Stay in that Christmas holly jolly spirit. Merry Christmas to all. Thanks so much for watching. Be blessed. Merry Christmas.